Love them knives. How are you guys doing today? Zip Slip, Kaiser, Zip Slip, Mike Bagnino Design. It's got his name on it, actually. It says Slip Joint. So what do you think? It's a nice little knife. Under three inch blade. Got a big choil up here. Put your finger on it. Take you some paper. Cut on it. It's got that Bowler N690 blade steel. Comes in different colors. And blue. Blue. Just remember the blue. I think you can get orange, green, whatever. But, uh, of course I got blue. Of course I got blue. Stonewashy looking blade. And, I, you know, I, I looked at this earlier. Because I was thinking, that can't be very efficient. But you know what? They're doing all right there. I thought... Uh, that's a small blade and a big, huge handle. doesn't look right, but it's all using it because see the piece in here? I mean, you got to make room for it down, you know, down here uh, because this, this when it's a slip joint and, and the magic of the zip slip is you see the top here? It does not move like a normal slip joint does. If I had a normal slip joint. Do I have a normal slip joint? I have a normal slip joint. I'll show you real quick. Okay, so this is the uh, Tucson TS-123. But you see how that top kicks up like that on a slip joint? Well, you guys know that. I didn't even have to show you. But that's the wonder of this. It doesn't move. And actually, one hand open... One hand shut, deep carry pocket clip, left hand, no, left handed people are just wrong, so we don't, we're not going to cater to them, that's not, well, my son's actually left handed, it's weird watching him play a guitar right handed when he's left handed, I don't know how that works, but yeah, I, so actually, I really like the action on this knife because it's really positive feel to it. Yeah, um, I do. I'm not a big slip joint guy, especially if it's a non-traditional looking knife. And this is not a traditional looking knife. This is definitely non-traditional. Oh, we got the Kaiser pinwheel come back again. Baby, they just love that design on their pivots, don't they? Don't they, don't they? Okay, I'll let it go. Hey, it's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Uh, I do like uh, the overall ergos on this. Uh, really, 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 especially if you hold it like this. Because if I'm going to back myself up here, I don't even think this is right. Do you? I don't even think this is right. Because uh, I'm only a three-finger guy here. And this is, I'm trying to kind of back up the butt end with my fourth but this this is good this is good so i can do that i don't know maybe maybe this i don't know why you'd reverse grip a slip folder in any case but there it is and like i said got his name on it why not hey uh, this ought to be legal, at least in more countries than, you know, your flippers and your autos and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at it. Like I said, under three inch blades, so about 73 millimeters, 2.85 maybe. Uh, yeah, six and three quarter, just a skosh over that, and 17, let's call it 17 centimeters. 
What do we got for blade stock here? 0.116. Yeah, three millimeters. Okay. Hey, that's good. That's good. Don't need to be fatter than that. That's for sure. Don't need to be fatter than that. 0.46. Actually, this looks more stocky than a 0.46. I mean, I... And that's a 11.7 millimeters. Let's see if it gets a little fatter up in here. If I can, if I can get my feelers up in here. No, nah, it doesn't actually. Isn't that strange? Okay, kind of. I was looking at it, thinking maybe it would, but no, there isn't any difference in the width. There is there. Hmm. Okay. Just thought it might. Fit and finish looks pretty good. They didn't skeletonize out any of these uh, liners. I'm not sure they really needed to. It's not all that heavy. It doesn't feel very heavy. Pretty light and lively. In ounces, 3.65. 103 and a half grams. I mean, it's not super, super lightweight. It's not like, you know, the Civivi McKenna. There you go. And let's roll let's roll around. Let's have a little bit of a way off here just for shits and giggles. Okay, so we got 1.8 ounces. <laughs> you gonna beat that? Where's my bailout? Oh crap, I sent it in for testing. I don't have my bailout. I don't have bug out in any case. Uh oh. Well, I got the mini Doman in here from Kaiser. Hey, Kaiser versus Kaiser. Ah, mini Doman is is lighter let's see pretty close pretty close so we're talking right in the same class here but this is actually lighter than this is you know you got contour g10 on here here no it's flat contoured not everybody gets contoured these days. That's just a luxury item. All right. Yeah, that's 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 pretty trick. That's good. Feels good in the hand. Probably got a little bit better. Yeah, it's it's got a little bit better ergos on this. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> Savivi. Uh, and definitely, yeah, better ergos than this as well. I'm I'm kind of almost just a three finger guy anyhow on this mechanic. So they just that's really really super light. But talk about super light. I mean, this is half of the zip slip. That's that's craziness. That's insanity. But yes, one handed. Isn't that nice? I, I like that. I, I don't remember the titanium zip slip being like this. You know, there is a titanium one, by the way. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. I reviewed one on my channel. I'll give you the link to White Mountain because you're going to buy one of these dogs. You might as well get 10% off. This is the titanium one. So that's like $144. Looks like they still have them in stock. More expensive, S35VN, I'm sure a little heavier as well, but, uh, wow, yeah, uh, you know what, this might be one of my favorite slip joint knives, period, because it's not terribly conventional, yet it's really, you know, easy to function with, huh, okay, I'm just sit around and play with the damn thing and and ignore you but this is you know this stone wash so i mean everything there's no you know edginess here uh, fit and finish seems to be pretty good it seems to be pretty solid it's centered up uh yeah i like it it's pretty cool i'm gonna let you have it take care you know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.